it's Mike. And as you see here, I went to White Castle today. I was doing some errands and I heard they had a thing called the Impossible Burger, which I guess is kind of like a plant-based meat, where it's not really hamburger, but it's vegetables and plants. And supposedly it's a little healthier for you. So the first thing you think of White Castle, you don't really don't think of healthy food. And I guess they're trying to change that a little bit by offering the Impossible Burger. And so they had a deal with it where it's uh, buy two and you get fries with it. And so I figured, you know, let's get the two as well as the regular cheeseburger so you can, you know, get a difference between the two. And it took a bit to order. So if you do get this, you may have to wait a while to get it. And it smells really good too. So I'm not sure if it's just a cheeseburger by itself or the possible burger. And as you can see in the little carton here, it's quite big. This is the impossible burger and this is the normal slider. So you can see a difference in size with it. And like I said, I got the same cheese on both. So that way uh, I can try them. Now, when I open it up here, uh, obviously it's sticking because of the cheese, but it's got pickle on there. Uh, the guy at the window t asked me if I want everything on there, and I said yes. So I'm guessing this means, you know, the normal stuff like the the onions and the pickle, basically everything you get with a White Castle slider. So like I said, that's the size of it. You can definitely see the difference in thickness with it versus this is the normal slider here that you'll normally get from White Castle. You can see how small that is, how, how thin it is, which is how they keep it cheap. Because like this by itself, the two of these are, are normally $1.99 a piece, so that's two dollars worth right there so let's give it a try it's actually pretty good it's got a smoky flavor to it so I'm not sure if it's cheese or if it's the meat but it definitely has a taste to it and normally with you know like veggie burgers and that kind of stuff they, they do tend to be a little dry and this one is actually really good it's, it's kind of moist to it so I'm not sure because it's freshly made you know why it's a little better. I'm actually kind of surprised. I know other restaurants like Bar Louie and uh, other restaurants, you know, chain restaurants do carry the Impossible Burger. And so I wasn't too sure on the taste of it. And I didn't want to spend too much money on it. <laughs> I figured it would be a cheaper way to go. It is really good. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm speechless. I'm surprised. I didn't think it would be this good. If there's not a White Castle near you and you want to try the Impossible Burger, like I said, there's Bar Louie that sells them. Um, there's other various restaurants. You can go to their website, the Impossible Burger's website, and you can find it. They also do sell in stores as well. So you can make it your own if you want to. So let's... Um, do the the normal slider here. Now, I'm, you know, after seeing the thickness between the two, I'm like, <laughs> the normal slider is kind of just pressing. It definitely is a different taste with that. I mean, it, it is it is a little different. It's amazing how the normal slider is a little bit drier than the, the Possible Burger one. I do have my cherry coke, that's what I'm drinking here. So, if I had to compare it to, well, which I kind of am, I guess. If I decide, you know, if I'm going to get the Possible Burger versus the normal slider, I'd probably go with the Possible and the impossible one because it tastes a lot better than normal slider. I mean, I'm just being honest. Um, the impossible one has a bit of a smoky flavor to it, so I'm not sure if they, you know, they, they added that to the burger to, you know, give it a better taste. I'm not sure, 
Um, or if it's the cheese itself, because I know they have a smoky cheddar um, cheese, which these both of those have that in there. So, so that may be the part of it. That may be why it tastes much better. Yeah, if it was cheaper, you know, if they kept the cost a little bit down, I can definitely see this kicking off, you know, taking off and, you know, being a better seller. So, in my opinion, if, like I said, if I had to cho choose between the Apostle Burger and Normal Slider at White Castle, I'm going to go with the Apostle one. It, it, like I said, the taste is so much better. It's, it's moist versus... <laughs> Uh, the normal slider, which is a little bit drier, and I'm going to recommend it. You know, if if you have a White Castle in your area, you want to try it out, or if you want to, you know, try a different restaurant, uh, like I said, you can go to the Apostles Burgers website, type in your zip code, and find out where they have them at, and give it a shot. It's worth a try. Um, it's a little bit healthier um, than a normal one. Um, I wish they had, you know, because it's place plant-based, so it's supposed to be a little healthier for it. But it all depends on what you put on it, I guess, you know, in the, in the end. And so, I'd recommend it. Give it a try, you know, give it a taste. And, yeah, I, I can't say much more than that. So, I want to thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you. Later on down the road.